Okay. Starting over. Um, I've wanted to make this video for the last like four hours because I had a, you know, another breakdown today. Nothing new, but um, I mean, it's like I've made enough weird videos where I'm in the dark and have a face mask on or I'm crying and it's just like, why not make one that's actually legit? Um, and talk about depression because it's real and, um, you know, I think it's important. So uh, I had another breakdown today. Uh, I went to basketball practice and we played two on two. There wasn't a lot of guys there, but um, it was great. And I played really well. I shot awesome and it was, it felt good. Um, but it's Labor Day weekend and I'm in California and I'm broke and I'm lonely. Um, I mean, just lonely, you know, like, being broke kind of makes you even more lonely because you don't really want to go and do things and spend money. Um, and I, I, after checking my bank account the other day, I just was like, okay. Um, but I got this. Like, I'm waiting to hear back about, you know, some things that are in the works and some things that might be really amazing opportunities. And I'm just trying to keep faith and stay strong, but um, depression like really breaks you down. And something I wanted to like talk about was people, they, they a lot of times tell me, you know, that, and remind me, which is a good thing that, you know, everyone goes through hard times and these are things that everyone deals with. And, and I know that, like, I know that everyone struggles with things all the time and life is hard that I know but life is even harder with depression like it it just is depression is just consuming and deflating and it takes all the strength out of you and it makes you hurt so bad and it's indescribable it it's just painful, um, just so mentally painful, and and you can do everything you can to try and be strong, and and it it can just take you down. Um, and I would say that my depression is pretty severe, um, and I'm actually like I mean I'm proud to say that I'm because of the fact that. That's one thing I do feel very strong about. I feel like the amount of fight that I've put into my life for as long as I can remember um, is crazy. Like, I fight hard. Um, and I've done a lot. And everything I've done, I've done with depression. The depression has always been there. Oh my gosh, my uh, storage was full, so I just deleted every single app again. That's like, it's like the 50th time I've done that, but I am getting a new phone soon and it's going to be amazing. Um, definitely going to make things easier. But anyway, um, yeah, I have, I'm just, I've been able to do a lot and I have struggled like it's deep um, and very powerful the depression so um, like putting myself out here now and admitting admitting how bad I hurt a lot of the time and the struggles that I have um, they're nothing new and so it doesn't take a, like, I don't want people to think 
that all of a sudden I'm going through this and that I can't handle, you know, like anything that comes at me. Um, say if I were to try out for the USA team or, you know, apply for a job or anything like that, I, I've, I've had this all along and I'm able to do really great things still and and I yeah like so but I'm putting myself out there now um, more than ever and I'm trying to do it more and more and more but it's really hard and it's scary um, and I'm trying to find the way to do it that isn't gonna be just like vomiting just you know poor me or anything like that because that's that's not why I want to do this. I want to put myself out there because I want people to see the hard times while they're happening and I want them to feel it and and then to see the really great things that are going to happen because just like making the USA team or going to college um, playing wheelchair basketball on a scholarship, like being the first in my family to go to college, all of these things that like I've done, winning gold at the Paralympics, it's, um, it's all because I'm, I, I will not let the depression hold me down. I can't settle. I have to push through it and I have to just like rise up and do do what I know I'm capable of doing. And that's scary because I know that we all are. We're all capable of so much more and when I settle or hold back, that's when the depression eats me alive and I can't let that happen. Like I I literally don't have a choice but to fight back hard. Because if I don't, like, I'm going down and I'm not coming back out. So it's either, like, I dig deep and I find a way to climb out of the hole and rise up. Or I stay down and I won't just stay down for long. Like, the pain gets so bad. So... But I'm not gonna let it, I'm not gonna let it take me down. At least not for long. <laughs> and, and good things are gonna happen. And I wanna share that now. I wanna share these times. And I want you to see the good times when they come. And like I said, that's scary though. Because, you know, you don't know, like, I believe, I just believe that good things are gonna happen. And I know it in my heart. If I push through it and I hold on and I, you know, work hard. But then there's the part of me that's like, can you do it? Can you, do you have the strength? Do you have the motivation? Can you handle it? Um, and is it even really possible? Like, will it actually happen? These things that I, I believe in. I just but I know that they can, um, but yeah, it's scary. It's scary to tell people how hard you're, how bad you're struggling, not knowing if you're actually gonna come out of it because then everyone just knows that you're struggling and if you don't come out of it, then everyone just knows that you're struggling and that you're weak or you're, you know, and, and that makes it even harder to be strong when you know that everybody knows and and that kind of makes you feel weaker. And then there's a funny story, uh, but it's just reality. So for the Wolfpack wheelchair basketball team, um, one of the managers was trying to add me on Facebook, but I already have 5,000 friends, um, or I've accepted 5,000 people, and you can't have an add any more after that. And so he wasn't able to add me, but to put me in the group message, he needed to. So he told me at practice to delete, you know, like 20 people so that I could add everyone I needed to. And I went home to like, to delete and then add him. But like more, 
I don't know. I I don't understand. I, I'm guessing people are just like deleting themselves um, because I'm putting up these videos or or posting, you know, things about going through depression. And people don't always want to see that, and that's perfectly fine. And they delete themselves. Um, and so it was funny because I already had the room, and I was like, oh, okay, well, now I can add him and don't have to, you know, try and delete people. And and that's not going to stop me from, um, from, from posting real things because the, the people that want to be a part of my life or, you know, are genuinely, like, interested in, I don't know, like, want to see this or they'll like they find me and and they also the ones that are in it like they stay by my side and they believe in me and they build me up and they give me strength and they they gain strength from me and that's what I'm doing this for those are the people so it's just like when the accident happened and the bad people the people that I thought were my friends you know and they just they weren't they they went away and it was really hard to accept but it was the biggest blessing because um, then all of these good people came towards me so that's funny <laughs> and that's the reality is that when you put yourself out there like there's gonna be people you know judging you and um, being annoyed of you and and you just gotta like let them go and stay strong because this is what I believe in and I'm gonna keep doing it um, and I'm gonna just stick to it. And then the other thing I wanted to talk about was like not comparing yourself to other people because I've been struggling with that a lot. Um, I kind of worried like when I met Allie, my awesome roommate, I, I just like, I worried that I was gonna feel like crap <laughs> because she is just like this girl that just seems to have it all together and um, I mean she does she's solid she's awesome I mean she has her hard times too like anyone but but like she's an occupational therapist and is making you know great money she just got a job and and I'm just like, what am I doing with my life? Like, why didn't I, I had, you know, the opportunity to go to college for anything? And why didn't I choose something that actually made money? Um, I got my master's in social work. Like, but I'm on my own path and um, I'm going to do my own thing. And... Yeah, we're all on our own journey, so there's no need to compare yourself. Um, there's just not. <laughs> so, there's that. Um, and I'm learning a lot and growing a lot. It's all great. And right now in my life, I'm in an extremely fragile place. I am very unsure about a lot of things. I'm barely getting by. Um, I'm on unemployment now since I moved to California for a job that I thought was my, you know, the path I wanted to go down and was the perfect career for me. But the reality was there's so much more that I'm, I want to do in my life right now. And I was kind of stuck. That was, that was a nine to five, you know, like I wasn't going to get to volunteer and coach these adaptive sports camps and have an impact on all these little kids and um, there's a lot of things actually that I wouldn't have been able to do and won't wouldn't be able to do if I was still at that job for the next five to ten years because um, I was ready I was dedicated but I got laid off a month after I started and a month after I moved to California for it so it was rough and it's, it's still rough, but I believe it happened for a reason. I just don't see how it couldn't have. So I'm going to just keep believing that and trying to figure it out and put myself out there as much as possible. Um, and I think I've done a really good job with that. But now I'm like 
you know, I've done as much as I can and definitely low on the funds and just kind of barely getting by and, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting closer to figuring it out and, you know, I'll be okay. Um, so I think that might be all that I was going to say, hopefully, but just wanted to make sure I posted a normal video talking about this stuff because I have so many weird ones that I just like blah and then I just put up and said screw it so um yeah good things are gonna happen and I'm gonna grow being in the fragile state of mind and just place in life is it's a really great growing opportunity and that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Just stay strong and keep trying. And um, I'm so thankful to everyone, every single person that loves me the way that they do and supports me and has helped me because I honestly, like, just, there's no way. Like, there's no way I could do this on my own. Um, mentally and I guess physically but just you guys just your belief in me is like it's amazing and it really holds me up when I can't stand on my own <sighs> so thank you to everyone blows my mind. You guys are amazing and I am very lucky. And I know not everyone has that kind of support. So I do not ever want to take it for granted and I don't see how I could because I know I wouldn't be where I am without you. I have no idea where I would be without you. So thank you. And uh, yeah, I think that's all. I'm gonna leave it at that. Just glad that I, you know, got it out. So, okay. Until next time. <laughs>